Peace, 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 brothers and sisters. How you doing? How you feeling? This is Shulman Ra. And this is the message. Early in the morning. Not early, early in the morning, but early in the morning. You know, I got to take my wife to work. She, she, she's not on vacation no more. I'm still on vacation, so... Remember the topic that I'm talking about, I have been talking about, is that we have to concentrate on the things we do on a daily basis, brothers and sisters. I'm just, I'm just breaking it out for you. What I've realized strongly is that People, they want to complain. They want to bitch about the things that don't work for them and why they're not in relationships. But they don't want to do the work for themselves because a lot of times it's them that's fucking up. You don't have to believe me. If you're not in a relationship, and I mean a long-term relationship, it's you. It's you. I've been in several long-time relationships. So we're gonna use me for example. I have standards because I, each time I try to improve myself, this is what I want you to understand. I try to improve me, okay? But one thing, I'm, what I've done is if I can't be myself at all times, I don't need to be in a relationship. And one thing I always made sure that the person I was with you're not going to change me for nothing because um, I'm not going to give you problems. I'll give you problems as your ass is if, if, if you are being a problem person. And then I'm going to give you problems. And if that becomes a situation that is concurrently constantly going on, I don't need to be around you. Okay? I've been in a six years relationship twice. I, been, I think I've been in a relationship for like... Uh, I think 10 years. I know my baby mother, I was with her for six years. Okay. My ex-wife, I was with her for six years. So that's 12 years. So and then I've been in a relationship. I'm trying to figure because my daughter, yeah, my daughter was like, what, two? So I figure like, yeah. So it's six, six, and 10, I think. And then 14 with my my current um, wife now, like that. But each time I improve myself, I improve myself to be a better human being. And the reason why I didn't last with those other women is because that you have to see people for what they are, their behavior. If they're not changing, and if you notice it's a constant, current uh, misbehaved, when you become an adult, there has to be a time you got to tell yourself, oh, what am I what am going to change this? What am I going to stop? When are you going to continue on foolishness? See, because a lot of times people, when their last relationship, you know what I'm saying? Somebody might have done them dirty. Remember, a lot of people like to tell you somewhat of a story. A lot of people don't like telling their side of the story. They'll tell you what somebody did to them, but they'll never tell you what they did to the other person. You understand? When I'm when I when I get into a relationship, I want to be treated the way I feel. I want to be treated because I I'm going to treat you good because this is what I was told to do. This is what I was engineered to do. They said treat a person the way you want to be treated. You treat a person the way you want you want to be treated. If you want to treat me, if you want to be treated like gold, then you treat a person like gold. 
I learned the hard way. I learned the hard way that you can't always treat people the same way they treat you. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, I'm treating this per person like gold and they're not bringing that back to me. So once I figured that out, I said, oh, I'm not going to treat you like that. So once, oh, I, baby, I'm once I learned that, I said, I don't need to be with that person. Because some people just going to give you their grief. I've been with a lot of females, just all they do is give me their grief. They grief, they grief, they grief, they grief, they grief. I'm just being honest with y'all. Okay? But when you are in a relationship, pay attention. If you're constantly going through grief with the individual, ask yourself, is this the lifestyle that you want to live? That's all you got to do. Ask yourself, do I want to live in this grief lifestyle? Because... What happens is that you will get so used to the grief, you wouldn't even you won't even know you you will notice it. But what happens is just you are tolerating, you are tolerating, and that grief will begin to wear you out, and then you are tolerating. No, not me. I always say if a person make me sick physically, you gotta fucking go. I know a lot of my friends used to tell me, "Go, yo D or yo shoe." I had other names out there. They used to say, um. Yo, man, you seem to get rid of females like it's no, no tomorrow. I didn't meant to get rid of females like that. I got rid of females because they grief. It's no, no, no harsh or no female. You too fucking you. There was too much problems, man. And I, I, I'm not, and, and I don't believe being in a relationship with somebody and you got, you gotta tolerate their fucking behavior. I don't believe in that. And if you think that what it is. I'm going to be honest with you. That's not what life is all about. Somebody go, oh, you got to take the good and the bad. You know what the good and bad is? The good and the bad is when we go through shit through life, not your ass is acting up. And you can't control it. That's not good and bad. Good and bad is life like, um, okay, let me guess. Thank you for the breakfast, book. That's my half. I've been with for 14 years. We knew each other for 14 years. That's my little booby. My booby. 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 <laughs> so anyway. Back to my point, because I'm about to get off. It's going to be a part two to this. Um, Y'all better learn this shit, brothers and sisters. Grief. What like what kind of relationship are you into? Grief. Shh. I see y'all later. This is part one. Relationships, man. I told you this is when we we're gonna be discussing this kind of stuff, man. You know, a lot of y'all pretending and talking about praying and all this shit. Get the fuck out of here. You praying, you still got problems. What that mean? Peep the game.